SharePoint, creating 360 tours using SharePoint Spaces. Students can create a 360 tour from within a class team. In the class team, they need to go to the general channel and then click on files. From there, they have the option to open in SharePoint. Before doing this, they need to make sure that they've uploaded any images or media that they want to add to their tour. You can see here I've created a folder called Abigail where I've already uploaded my resources. So I've opened up my folder in SharePoint. If I click on Home, I will see the SharePoint page. If you haven't done any work on your class or your team SharePoint page, it will look like this. From here, they can click on New, Spaces. Here, they need to give their space a name and add a description. You can choose what structure you would like and then click on create. So I can see here it's created a 360 view for me. Now this is just a standard photo so I'm going to go to edit my space and here I can select a different background image if I would like or I can upload an image. So I'm going to go to custom 360 file and then from here, I'm going to click on Site. In my Document Libraries, I'm going to click on Documents. And in Documents, I'm going to click on General. And then I should see my folder here, Abigail. I can then select a picture that I want for my home screen. This will then change in my home view. You can see I've now got a picture of the Korong. I can also change some of the other settings here before I add anything. So I can add an audio message if I've pre-recorded something. Again, I'd need to find it from site. Now the reason I want to save everything into site is to make sure that people viewing it have permission to view it. I can add an ambient sound, so in this case I'm going to select rain, and I can change the volume of that ambient sound. Once I've done that, I can click on the plus to add some content. So I could just add some images or other content but in this case, I'm going to add a 360 tour. I click on this and then I click where I want the tour to be placed. And then I can go in and select those images. So again, I'm going to Sites, Documents, General and Abigail. This time I'm going to select all the photos that I'd like to add to my tour and click on open. I'll now see the tour there but before I can edit it I want to publish this page. Okay so now I've got my view and if I spin it around I find where I've put that 360 tour. I can then click in there and at the moment it's just one picture. I can't go backwards or forwards. So I need to go up and edit this so I can link in my photos. So I can click anywhere to add. If I want to change where I want that spot to go, I need to first of all navigate to where I want to put that spot. Then I can go back to edit
and this time I can click and then link to a 360 photo. I can then select the next photo, add a description. In this case, the photo is going to the coral and then select the next one and repeat the process. I can do this until I've repeated this for all of my photos and then a viewer will be able to come in and this time use those navigation buttons. So now when I press the home it goes to the home and then I can navigate backwards and forwards or I can use that hotspot. If I go back into edit and click again, this time I'm going to look at some other options. So I can add a hotspot that will add text or I can add an image, video, audio, a file or a 3D object. In this case I'm going to add some text and then I can choose how I want this to appear. And then click to publish and now I can see what that looks like. If I want to share the tour I can go to promote and then I can copy the address. If I go up and click on add space to navigation this will mean that the page appears in everyone's home menu. So you might not want to get students to do this if they're going to be creating lots of spaces. Instead, they could go back into their team and perhaps reply to a post where you've posted an assignment and copy and paste in their link. So now, as a teacher, I can go in, I can see that students posted, and when I click on this link, it brings me to that student's 360 tour. As a teacher, an easy way for me to see all the tours that my students have created is to use the navigation panel on the left hand side. If my students haven't added their tour to the navigation, I can view these from clicking on pages. When I click in pages, I will see all of the pages created by the different students in my class. I can then go and look at the page that is named with the relevant assignment. This is a good way to see quickly all your students' work.